Good morning, my friends. Today is Monday, September 26th. It's Monday of the 26th week in Ordinary Time. It's day 17 of Beformed, and it's the optional memorial of Saints Cosmas and Damien. You'll hear their names in the first Eucharistic prayer. They were uh, doctors by training, they're brothers. They were martyred under Di uh, Diocletius in the year 287 AD. And there are many miracles who are attributed to their intercession. Um, they're the patron saints of doctors, surgeons, and pharmacists. So I'd encourage you to read up on the lives of these two, two saints and uh, what God has done through, uh, through their intercession has been powerful. Um, also, you might see my other video from the investiture uh, on Sunday in the equestrian order of the Holy Sepulchre. And th this is an organization that supports the holy sites in, in Jerusalem, in the Holy Land, um, as we wanna protect these, these places where Jesus walked and taught, might be something to look into uh, a great cause. Again, the Equ Equestrian Order of the Holy Sepulchre, EOHS. Let's look at the readings today. Uh, the first reading is from the book of Job's chapter, book of Job chapter one, verses six to 22. It's this conversation between uh, God and Satan over Job. And, uh, you know, God knows that Job is, is uh, God-fearing and he lives a righteous life. And, uh, and so the devil wants to get at Job and make him curse God. And so uh, God says, Behold, all that he has is in your power. Only do not lay a hand upon his person. So it talks about the permissive will of God and how God allows some things to happen, but for a greater good. And even the death of someone, we have to remember that the death of someone is not the worst form of evil because it could, it could mean the beginning of their life and eternal life. So just something to keep in mind. So what does Satan do? Uh, the oxen are killed, the herdsmen are killed, lightning strikes the sheep and the shepherds, the camels are carried off. Uh, his sons and daughters uh, uh, are killed. And, uh, you know, Job, in his faithfulness, didn't curse God. What does he say? Naked I came forth from my mother's womb, and naked I shall go back again. In other words, I came into this world with nothing. I go back to God with nothing. The Lord gave, and the Lord is taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Wow, such faith. And uh, this is the place the Lord wants to lead us to and that, that acceptance of God's will, no matter, what, no matter what happens. If we believe that God loves us and he's got a plan for our life and uh, his will is better than ours, we have to trust that you know, whatever happens is, is in his will, even if we might not understand it in the midst of it. It says, uh, the Lord gave and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Wouldn't it be amazing if we could recite that in, in every circumstance? And then in the gospel, uh, Luke 9, 46 to 50, the, the disciples are arguing who's the greatest. You know, and you could imagine, uh, you know, their rivalry. And, uh, and Jesus, he doesn't want any part of it. Whoever receives this child in my name receives me. And whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. For the one who is least among all of you is the one who is the greatest. So Jesus is always trying to turn things upside down. It's not about who's the greatest, the most. Oftentimes we seek honor, power, and pleasure, and wealth. And Jesus is saying, saying, seek the lowest place. Be humble and make me the center of your life. And then they come, uh, John said in reply, Master, we saw someone casting out demons in your name and we tried to prevent him because he does not follow in our company. So kind of like this jealousy, we want to, you know, protect, and I think in a good way, they're trying to protect Jesus's ministry. But Jesus says, do not prevent him for whoever is not against you is for you. Jesus wanted this ministry to spread and it has spread out over the whole world. The key is that everything is done in, with, and through Jesus and not on our own power. And so let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for your son, Jesus. 
Help us, like Job, to trust in, in your divine will, even when we don't understand it. And help us not to seek honor, power, pleasure, and wealth, but to seek you above all things. Help us to grow in humility, Lord. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share these videos with at least one person today. And yes, to you and to your family, buen camino. God bless you.